In this video, we'll cover the sheet metal summary page of the MEP Academy estimating spreadsheet. This will accumulate all the other sheets for the material and labor for sheet metal. Okay, this is the sheet metal summary tab, which you see is the third tab over from the dashboard here. This is where you'll put your rectangular and round duct and fitting, your lineal feet, your material cost, your field labor hours, and if you have the pounds, you can put them here. Otherwise, you can put them down in the shop category if you have your own shop and you have those values. We'll look at that in a minute. But if you purchase them and you can get the pounds from your supplier or you're getting it out of your estimating software program, this will then tell you how many dollars per pound for the material, for the labor in the material. It'll tell you how many pounds you're getting per square foot, how much the material cost per linear foot, and with labor and material, the cost per linear foot. It'll give you your productivity, how many lineal feet you're putting in a man day. Some of you may look at this lineal feet per hour. It's the same metrics. It's just one looks at it per day. How many feet can be put in in a day, meaning eight hours, or you can look at it how many hours uh, lineal feet per hour. So, and then you can adjust it. Over here, you got the productivity adjustment. So you put in 80 hours, it gave you 10 linear feet per man day. If you think that is too slow, you can put in anything you want here. This is 20 linear feet a man day. So what it tells you is you have to deduct 40 hours out of your bid. And the same for each line item. So this one come at 8.8 .8 linear feet per man day. Let's say you can do it at 10. This one came at 11. Let's just round it to 12. So it tells you you need to deduct 55 hours from your bid. So you just come over here and you say, okay, let's do minus 55. So then you'll get a new productivity rate, which will show on your dashboard. And also over here, there's a mini metrics, which will show you pounds per square feet cumulative, your dollars per pound for material and for material and labor. That's cumulative for the first three line items here. And so you got material handling. This is to get the material off the truck into the location in the building where you're going to install it. Doesn't include installing time. And so you just put whatever percentage it takes. It's usually a high percentage. Consumables, you can add a percentage. Your punch list and your cleanup percentage. These are all based on your total field hours for this column. And then you're detailing what percentage of your total field labor is detailing. So if you put 10%, you can see that's 34 hours, which is 10% of this subtotal here. Same with supervision. It's going to look at the subtotal here. And then if you keep going down, over here you got a sheet metal detailing calculator. This is on all the summary trade sheets. So you can put your own hours here, hours each, and this will tell you how many hours you should have for detailing. This will give you the percentage based on your total hours here. So become familiar with the project. How long does that take you? You know, drawing floor and roof plans. How many of those drawings do you have to create in detailing? And how many hours each does it take you? How about detailing equipment pads, wall, floor openings? How many of those drawings do you have? And how long will that take you per drawing? As-built drawings, you've got to do a set of as-builts at the end. How long do you figure for your as-builts? Field detailing sheets. Someone's going to detail the project and put together a bill of materials for ordering, whether it's in a shop or from a vendor. And then the time to coordinate. So you'll put those hours uh, the quantity for those items and then the hours you think it takes you each to do those. It'll give you a total here and then you just put that percentage over here. So 
we followed this example, we would put 42.5 hours and you can see it gave us 144, the 144 it recommended here based on what we said we were gonna need. Now moving down to the shop, you can see the shop here. If I was to put, let's say we were gonna do 100 feet, again, let's say $1,000 in material, 80 hours in the shop, and we had 500 pounds. Uh, then you can see it's $2 per pound for the material, 1080 for the material and the labor, and here's your parametrics. So it says you're doing 6.3 pounds an hour, and it's pretty slow. So if we were to put 40 hours, mm, that's... Uh, this is more like 10, 10 hours, 50 pounds per hour. That's a good combo rate for, for straights and fittings mixed together. It all depends. You got to check your shop. What's your shop productivity? And then, um, whatever you come out of your estimating program here, if you have one, you put your, uh, raw hours out of your estimating program here. It'll tell you what pounds per hour that is. And then I would show my adjustment here. Leave this here as what comes out of your estimating program and show your adjustments here so you know what you've adjusted to. So if you say you can do, you know, the, the shop can do faster than that, uh, then you'll just come up with a total deduct here and you'll carry the deduct over here depending on what it recommends here. And then once again, you got some shop parametrics or metrics, you got pounds per square foot pounds, dollars per pound for material only, dollars per pound for material and labor, and your pounds per hour productivity.